So there are three common measures of sudden tendency, which are mean, median, mode, and that's what we will cover today. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and comprehensive science education. Mean is a measure of sudden tendency that represents the average value of a data set. So as I said, mean is a measure of central tendency. It refers to all those method of statistical analysis which are used to estimate or calculate the average of a set of data. Now let's talk about merits of mean. So basically, mean is rigidly defined. So its value is always definite and certain. Mean can never be biased. Secondly, its simplicity. Mean is easy to calculate and simple to understand. It's also stable. Mean is capable of further algebraic treatment because of this attribute. Mean is extensively used in statistical analysis. Mean balances the value on either side. And one of the most important thing that it is an effective method of summarizing large data sets. Now let's talk about the demerits of mean. It sometimes affects extreme values. Since mean is the average of all the values of a series, it is greatly affected by extreme fluctuation. Thus, it is not a true representative value of all the items of the series. Mean cannot be calculated unless all the items of the series are known. It can sometimes be misleading as well. Mean cannot be used for small number of classes. Mean cannot be used for qualitative characteristics such as colors of flowers, sweetness of oranges or darkness of the color. Now let's check one example. Suppose you have a following data set of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So in order to calculate the mean, you would add up all the values and divide by the total number of values. That is going to be your 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 by 5 equals to 6. Therefore, the mean of this data set is 6. To understand more calculations, do not forget to watch our video on calculations of mean. Now, when we talk about mean, there are different types of mean. For example, there's automatic mean, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. When we talk about automatic mean, a sample or a population is the common average obtained by dividing the sum of values of all the items or observations of the series by the number of items of that series. So, if you can see, the formula is given below here, where x bar denotes automatic mean of the sample mean, x1, x2, x3 are different values of variable of x and is the number of observation of variable x. Next is the geometric mean. So, the geometric mean of a set of data for n observation is the nth root of their product. For example, if x1, x2, x3 are the sets of n observations, the geometric mean is going to be as follows. Now, coming to the harmonic mean, harmonic mean is the reciprocal of the automatic mean of a given observation. And this is the formula for harmonic mean. Basically, when we talk about harmonic mean, it is commonly used in finance, engineering and physics to calculate the rate of speed, flow or other related quantity. However, if we compare, geometric mean is commonly used in finance and economics to calculate the rates of return and growth rates. Coming to median. So median is a value of the middle observation or the mean value of two middle observation. So if we see median, there are merits and demerits of the median. Let's start with the merits of median. It's rigidly defined. It is easy to understand and calculate. It is not affected by extreme observations as we have seen in mean. Median can be computed while dealing with a distribution with open end class. It is also best for qualitative data. It can be calculated even when the extreme values of a variable are not known. However, when we talk about the demerits of the mean, it cannot be determined in the case of even number of observation. We merely estimate it, it as automatic mean of the two middle terms. Median is relatively less stable than mean and it is also positional average. It cannot be accepted for each and every observation. And also it cannot be subjected to algebraic treatment. Now if we talk about mode, it is, is the most frequently occurring value in a data. It means that for a given data, mode may or may not exist. For example, let's observe mode for the following three sets of data. So in this case, the most frequently occurring value in the case one a is 10. Now, if we compare it to B, it is 10 and 9 because they are occurring twice. In case of C, there is no repetition of the value. I hope you could understand. Thank you for watching.